Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today guys, we're looking at wishy-washy stall in standard. Now, we're going to try and make this work in the mem memeable way we could, and uh, there's a lot of reasons for certain cards in this deck. Um, I wouldn't call this a perfect list, if it even becomes a list. Now, I want to make a video for Sunday, just because The Walking Dead is on today, and it's last episode of Season 8, and from what I know, it's... A monstrous episode. This is going to be a huge episode, so I gotta get hyped, and I want to upload a video just to be hyped. Um, I had a pretty hype week anyway, so, you know, why not end it off on a note? So anyways, we're going to be looking at this deck, and it's a bit of a weird deck for a lot of people. Um, now, we know Waylord and Expanded has kind of made a bit of a comeback. It certainly has died down a little bit, um, but it kind of came back, and a uh, Waylord Wishy Washy deck did pretty well. Um, however, there are some problems with that deck in Standard over to Expand it, because one of the things in that deck that the deck really uses is Tropical Beach. Unfortunately, we don't have Tropical Beach in Standard. Now, this is a huge issue, um, but we're still going to try and make a bit of a stall deck, and I actually do play a certain card in here to help with the Tropical Beach kind of issue. It's weird, you'll see. I mean, you kind of know what I'm talking about, just because you're looking at it, but... You can see what I mean by a Tropical Beach replacement, quote-unquote, because I feel like this deck does need draw support. I tried this deck out without the draw support, and it was pretty awkward. There were moments where it's like, dang it, if I was able to draw, I probably could have won the match. I actually had a really close game against a Decidueye deck, and um, I probably could have won if I drew better, and I feel like that's the thing. Like That's why I wanted to have draw support this deck. Um, so I went with Zoark over Octillery. Zoark is not hard to knock out if you're playing Lycanroc or Buzzwool. But if you're not, you're not going to knock out Zoar because it's got 210 HP. It's going to take a hit, most likely. So that kind of goes with the flow of the nothing is going to get knocked out. Obviously, the theme and stars of today is Wishy Washy GX. Wishy Washy GX is 210 HP, and we're just going to literally keep Wishy Washy in the active spot, or Hoopa, or Celesteela, or Zerkatry. We're going to spam Handiwork with Lusamine. There's a cool little combo I'm going to show you with Lusamine and Handiwork. And um, that's kind of how we're going to win the game. We're going to either run our opponent out of energies or deck them out. Now, it's not a mill deck because there's no mill to the deck, but it is a mill deck. Think about it. So the idea is to do that. So we'll see what we got in the deck to help us out because we do have a lot of support in this deck to keep the wishy-washy block thing going. So we're going to talk about the other Pokemon. We got two Hoopas. You can just win games with Hoopa alone. I'm going to play 2-2 Zoark for my dry engine. I went with Zoark because Artillery is really easy to knock out. It's a one-prize attacker, but it's too easy to knock out, and I don't like that. I'd rather have Zork, which is tougher to knock out for some decks, and they don't knock it out, and it's like you can keep the trade up for days. With Ace Rollers and Max Potions, I don't think it's going to be too easy to knock out Zork if you don't hit it and knock it out in one hit. I went with Zerkatry. Again, you can win games with Zerkatry. Um, the idea here would be just to get rid of this basic energy. It kind of makes our Enhanced Hammer a little dead, but I'm fine with that. Um, I really would like to play Lightning Energy in here just for Lightning. It will make it hard for your opponent to win the game, but ultimately, I can't find room, and it'd be too clunky. Like, it's just two Lightning Energies. What are the odds we're going to hit that end sort of tree? Uh, I'm going with Swan Celesteela. Now, of all the Pokemon that are basics in Standard that have a whopping amount of HP, Celesteela wins that prize over Wishy Washy, or beside Wishy Washy, I should say. Now, Celesteela has some good traits. Um, it's got 200 HP, so it's got a mass amount of HP. You know, you could say, well, what about Lapras? Nope, Wishy Cell Steel is better because it's got 200 HP. Now, it does have another cool trait. It's actually resistant to fighting, so if you do end up playing against, like, Buzzwool, you can probably get rid of their strong energy pretty easily, force them to do 10 damage to you with its attack, and if you can keep the mill going long enough, they're not even going to be the chance to do that much damage to you. That's kind of how we're going to be Buzzwool. You know, Cell Steel, it just has a really nice resistance right now. That's why I'm playing it. Now, another funny thing I was thinking of would be like a Gyarados version of this deck. It'd be really dumb. I would think this would be the worst kind of it. Just because cards like Celebi, I mean not Celebi, sorry, Jirachi and uh, Espeon are powerful. But you can run Gyarados with bodybuilding dumbbells. And it would actually be kind of effective because it had 220, ugh, 280 HP. The problem with this, obviously Magikarp is easy to get knocked out. And unfortunately Gyarados, it's really easy to fall to an Espeon, so yeah, unfortunately that's the thing. Now, another nice thing about, like, Celesteel and Wishy Washy, they don't really have a weakness. The only thing they're going to be weak against is Tapu Koko promo, or something like, I don't know, Tapu Koko GX, but those aren't, like, really 
I mean, and Vika Bolt, I guess. Actually, well, let's look at the Lenny types right now. I mean, those are the main ones I know for a fact. Um, but yeah, Wishy Washy and Celesteel have really don't have much of a weakness. There's not really any big Lightning threats in the format. Like, Vika Bolt, yeah, but they're devoting a lot of energy to build that up. And we already know milling them is part of the strategy. Um, Coco GX, maybe, but not many decks play it. I don't know if you play against Raichu for some reason. Um, the probably bigger one would probably be Flying Flip, because this is more common, but with the Mr. Mime lines, maybe Coco's kind of died out a little bit, so not as many people play Tapu Coco. And besides, it can max 100 you, which 3 shots you, which you can probably live with. And you look at all the level any Pokemon, there's really nothing else you're going to worry about unless you're playing against a Magnezone Pikachu deck or something. Like, I don't know, there's not really many Lightning Pokemon Wishy Washy and Celestial to deal with. So in a way, they have no weakness, which is really powerful. I wish Wishy Washy had a resistance, that would make this card even funner. So yeah, let's take a look at the items. There's a lot. We got one counter catcher. Counter catcher allows us to be able to bring something up and trap it. Maybe that's how we can win a game if they're out of Guzmas or you know ways to get out of the active, or it takes too long for them to get the active. At that point, you already have a winning you know goal or shot. You know, counter catcher can be really good because we're not taking prizes. No energy in this deck. Three crushing hammers to mill the energy. Three enhanced hammers because special energy is super popular. Two field blowers to be able to get rid of duels. Stuff like choice bank can make all the difference. Four max potions. This is a simple card. We're just going to straight up heal our wishy washy. Uh, one nest ball. I like nest ball. It can be a great way to get something on your bench. Mainly stuff like Zarua. Four puzzle of time to be able to get back some of our milling cards or our supporters. The supporters play a big role in here. One parallel city. This could be good against Zoark. You know, you can slap parallel city down. They're not going to do as much damage to you. That could be fun. Or make them do less damage to you with the other side of it where they, you know, a certain type can do less damage. We're going with four ace rollas. Unfortunately, we don't have AZ. We do have Saber Scoopa, but that's too clunky. And I mean, I, we're not gonna run Saber Scoopa. That'd be stupid. Ace Rolla is better in here, so four Ace Rollas is the mean. We got one Galadian. Galadian's gonna be important because again, we're not taking prizes, so Galadian's kind of the only way we're gonna be able to get something out of the prizes. If something crucial is prized, we need a Galadian for it. One Guzma. Just sometimes we need to trap stuff in the active. Um, it's important. Uh, we do play three copies of Lusamine. This is how we are going to get our supporters back, like Ace Rolla and Handiwork and Flare Grunt. But there's a cool thing we can do with Lusamine. If we have two Lusamine in the discard pile, or one in the discard pile and one in our hand, what we can do is we can Lusamine for a Lusamine, and then the Handiwork, or a Flare Gun, or whatever, Ace Roller, whatever card we're trying to use for the next turn. Then, what we can do is we can keep an infinite loop of Lusamine going. That's kind of the idea with Lusamine in here. So we can keep an infinite loop of Lusamine. We're going to try and see if that'll happen in today's video. Two ends. Uh, just, again, it can really help you. You're not taking prizes, so this can be a good way to, like, shuffle your hand back in. You know, kind of the same reason why we're playing Shauna. Uh, we do play one Olivia. Now, I'm going with one Olivia, one fan club. Um, I know Olivia, what a crazy card to see in this deck. Um, but we are playing Olivia just to be able to grab our Zorak DX. We can't grab a fan club, but we're playing two fan clubs to be able to grab our basics. We do play one Plumera. Plumera is a really cool card. Um, unfortunately, I can't scroll down, so it looks like I'm going to have to go into this mode to be able to view the rest of the cards, but one Plumera. Plumera is great, um, but we're only playing one. Flare is sometimes better. Three Skylas. I'm going with three Skylas. You can Skyla for anything. Skyla for a supporter, Skyla for a belt, Skyla for a max potion, puzzle of timepiece. So Skyla is super good. Four Flare Grunts, this is how we're going to mill. We got two Rockets Handiwork. This is also how we're going to mill our opponent's deck and win the game. This is going to be one of the most crucial cards in this list, so we'll see if Handiwork pulls through and wins us by decking them out. We do play one Skullgrunt. Skullgrunt's also pretty effective. We don't play Lele in here, so sometimes one of them don't actually work out. I did have like a one Delinquent, but it's overkill, I think, for that. Four Funny Fairy Belts and one Venus Policy. I originally did play one copy of Assault Vest, but again, we're kind of going to run out of fashion on our day anyways, so it's not a big deal. I don't think we need that. Funny Fairy Belt's better. You know, Wishy Washy gets 250 HP. With Weakness Policy, I'm going to play just in case we play against a Lightning deck or we might need it. For Zoark GX, you know, so it's, you know, not going to be knocked out as easily. Who knows? It could come in handy. Um, so yeah, let's get some matches in this deck and uh, see how painfully long they're going to be. <laughs> I don't know. So let's find some matches, get some hype in, because the walking deck comes back and it's a big episode. So I'll see you guys in a minute with some games. All right, guys, let's find some matches with our deck. Um, I might only do a couple games. I don't want to have a really long video. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Looks like we're playing against a potential Darkrai deck. Darkrai might be a little challenging to beat. Maybe. Depends if he is playing Darkrai. He might be playing Zoark. 
I guess we'll find out. I'm kind of worried. We know this is a coin flip, which, I mean, if we can open with like a team flag, that'd be nice. Hopefully we don't start with Zarua, which we probably will, so I just jinxed myself. Okay, it's a very revealing as to what kind of a deck we're running. Thank you, game. Hmm, I mean, it may my opponent get thrown out by the Olivia, I don't know. Hoopa. Could open with Salastila. I think we'll open with Hoopa. If he's playing... If he's playing a deck that can't damage Hoopa, I mean, we basically just want that game. I think he's playing Darkrai, though. Oblivion Wing could be a bit of an issue, too. Sorry, guys, if I'm sucking on this... This sucker, but... Very good sucker. I don't know. I guess, oh, actually, we have to end him. Yeah, his hand's massive. Did we, didn't, we didn't mulligan that many times. Oh, he's playing Rayquaza. That says everything you need to know about uh, us winning. These energy recover decks are going to be very hard to beat. He could be playing Sogaleo Rayquaza, which is also a bit of an issue. Rayquaza is going to be a pain in the butt. Hopefully, he only plays one. It is Sogaleo Rayquaza. He has Dark, which is weird. I am very confused. We definitely have to end him here. His hand is massive. I'm going to put down Celesteela. I kind of need to. And uh, we are going to end him here. Give him a fresh new hand. He does might have maybe Sogaleo, something I got to watch out for. We do have a Wishy Blush. It's hoping me for like a Zorua, but... I think I'm going to put it down. Why not? And we'll pass. We belt the Wishy Washy. He actually can't KO me with Solvers. And we can also save our Celesteela. Okay, there's a Field Blower, which is fine. I'm glad it's only one Finding Fury belt. Hopefully we didn't give Merc any Soul Galeo. Oh, no, he has Choice Beam. Oh, there's his other Field Blower and Stretcher. Two cards that uh, kind of helps him out. He didn't even get Soul Galeo Cosmo, which is good. Hmm. I might just grab Nest Ball. I do want to get a Zork in play, but... I kind of do want to do Field Blower, too. Get rid of that Choice Band. Could also Crushing Hammer. Then he can't attack me next turn and force him to GX attack. But I don't really think that would matter. I think we'll grab the Field Blower. What's scary is this, like, Counter Catcher and Arguzma are actually kind of dead cards in this matchup. I guess we'll pass. I'm going to save that Belt. We could see a Guzma knock out Wishy Wash yourself stealing. But I don't know. I just want to see how this deck turns out. We might not even win. This is a bit of a skillful deck, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm not very good at playing these kind of stally decks because I don't really play them that much. There's your candy, he must have drew that. Probably gonna get a solo Leo in play. Yeah. You know, the other one too, which is interesting. What the heck? Do he have two rare candies? He's gonna end me, alright, thank you. Uh Best case scenario, maybe some hammers. Enhanced hammer would be good to get rid of those DCs off Rayquaza. Then he has to attach manually. Okay, I mean, that's a little bit better of a hand. We can Gladian, I guess, for now. We'll see if he can get another... He didn't get... Wow, he is... Oh, man, that's not good for him. I mean, sure. And we'll do Glad... I could do Guzma, but I don't want to keep him active. Let's see what we can get off our prizes. Skull Grunt... Field Blower, Skyla, or Crushing Hammer. I don't care about Zork. I don't even know if I want to go for one at this point. Kind of too late. Looking at my hand, I think we gotta grab Skyla. I mean, it's the only time we can grab something, so we kind of gotta make it count. I think I'm gonna grab Skyla here. Skullgrim wouldn't be bad either, though, especially if he has DC. Oh, we already have Enhanced Hammer. I think we can grab Skyla. We might need this if we need to grab something. Especially Fighting Fury Belt, so... I'm definitely grabbing Skyla here. And before he plays one copy of Professor Kakui. Nice thing here, we're kind of just forcing him to either attack me with Rayquaza or hit me with Sogaleo. Baby Sogaleo. 
I wish this deck kind of had like a de-evolution Pokemon. I wouldn't mind doing Parallel City at some point, but I'd have to do it when he doesn't have Silgalade on the active. Alright, there's a Sycamore. Probably gonna... I mean, he is thinning out that deck. Ooh, is that... Oh, he plays three Field Blowers. So I dodged a bullet there. I dodged a bullet. He had his own Parallel Cities, which is, I guess, a good thing too for me. I, I need to fill my mini works. Okay, there's Baby Silk. So he's gonna knock me out this turn if he has Rare Candy to follow up, which I think he does. But he's like, oh, 20 cards left. He lost his stretcher. Maybe he can do something. Hmm. I mean, he can just attack me with this thing, but he can't do it every other turn. He'd have to go up energy. If he has something for your treat on the bench, maybe. Fangs of the Sun. Now, the good thing is, he can't attack me again unless he attaches Lele and retreats, which I am perfectly fine with. I'm thinking a counter catcher, but that, that would not be good because it would force something in the active spot. And then he just ultra rose and fangs the sun for me. <laughs> Wishy washy. I guess we're gonna do Skyla for a bell. Actually, we're not gonna get knocked down next turn, are we? I think I still grab Bell anyways. Like he can Soul Burst next turn, I guess. Maybe I can just grab an end instead. I kinda feel like end safer just to get a better hand. But if I don't get a belt, then I'm in trouble. I still think I'm gonna grab end though. Or maybe even I mean, this is tough. The energy retrieval thing is so bad for us. I think I read Belks. I have Ace Roll and Max Potion in my hand. I just wish we got a Zoark online this match. I mean, we could see a Guzman at some point. He hasn't played one yet. I'm just gonna put it. Screw it. We already have two Pokemon in play, so it's whatever. He's used two Guzmas, so maybe. If he has one left, that's fine. Putting more energy on the active? What? Okay, that's a very weird play. I mean, I guess he wants to survive me milling him, but still. Hitting my boy Celesteela. I am fine to knock that out. Okay, there's Zoark. I could ace Rolla now, but I think I'm gonna hold it. If we see a Guzma, so be it. I need- I want to find my handiwork, so the fact that he only has 18 cards is really big. I mean, this deck is more designed to play against special energy heavy decks, and this is obviously not special energy heavy decks, there's a bit of a problem there. I mean, the fact that we're still putting up some- I mean, I wouldn't call it a fight. For the most part, you know, we're not in the worst position. He hasn't built up a Sunsteel Strike for some reason. I don't know why he put 4 energy in the active. I, I guess, just in case we flare gun him, but- Rayquaza is in play, so I don't know what you gotta worry about. Unless he knows I play in the Enchantments. I don't know, it's weird. I think I'll still include this game though, you know. Fine enough, I guess. I do need to get Zork online. You can see, like, it is hard to play this deck without any kind of draw support. This is why I said Zork is a really good tech in this deck. Maybe, like, ooh, he just passed. Ooh. And we drew Handiwork. Max Potion, another energy is in value, yeah, that's true. Let's pass. I mean, if he's not playing, <laughs> I'm not gonna be playing. We just need to get a loose Amine. And we're good. I mean, if he's not playing, you know, <laughs> this game's boring. It's already gonna be a boring match if we're just passing every turn and healing and spamming hammers, you know. It's not like the most entertaining game in the world. But again, I'll take any advantage I can get. I don't care if he's not playing, man. I'll, I'll, I'll take what I can get, man. I think he might concede, though. So I think, I'm pretty sure the game auto-concedes you if you're not playing, and the game detects it. Which, I'm not gonna complain. We still are showing off the deck a little bit, not really, though. I do want to get a Zoro in play. Hopefully we can draw a Nest Ball or something. Lusamine isn't bad, I can grab N and maybe Handiwork or Skyla Handiwork. He's still not playing, this is lit. There's a puzzle. It's gonna keep passing. The longer I take, the more time he has to come back to the game. 
There's nothing to do really anyways with this hand. It's kind of garbage. Well, it's not garbage, but there's literally nothing I can really do. I can't counter catch her. There's no point because he's ultra rogue. Um, yeah. Can't really do max potion. There's no point in healing the cell, Stila. It's already going to get knocked out. And I might as well conserve the healing cards for now. Because we you know he has no way to one-shot go active with Shiwashi. And if I can find my other belts, yeah, game auto conceded him. I'm not gonna go, I'm still gonna take that though. I don't even care. And uh, 375 coins? 25 rip. I'm actually curious if he had any DCEs. He did. He had a lot of energy too. Jeez. 5, 7. That's crazy. He had like 11 energies, so. 11 metals, anyways. But we are going to find another match with our um, little trolley deck. I do want to find a match where my opponent is scarce on energy. I want to see how that would go. I don't want to play against Volcanian or something stupid because we're going to lose. Probably. And I don't really feel like playing a game out. So we'll find another match and uh, we'll see if this game is good. If it's something against another Volcanian, I'll just cut. I'm not going to bother with that. It's not both. Could be Turdinator. There's a lot of energy recovering cards in, in standard, like you got Turdinator, you got Volk, you got Rayquaza, Lorantis, Aquapatch, and we lost the coin flip again, which isn't terrible. Alright, we're gonna mulligan. Hopefully we're not gonna mulligan 50 times like the last match, I mean we only play that for basics. As long as we don't start with Zorua and we didn't mulligan. He could be playing Typhlosion, which is not a terrible matchup, but not a great one either, only because he has so much energy, and he can actually one-shot and start with Zorua. <laughs> no! The Zorua start. I mean, I guess it's whatever. Uh-oh. I hope I don't get disconnected, though. Either. Okay, he's not. It looks like he's playing ho oh, so asshole. Which, we'll see how this goes. Professor Kikui. He has game next turn if I don't draw Pokemon. No, I just do this. I could have crushed and hammered, whatever, rip. Uh, does he have game next turn? He doesn't have game pass. I don't think he can win. Unless he does, like, double steam up. Scratch. Sure. Slazzle. We, I mean, Slazzle, you know, scarce on energy, needs to energy attack. Olivia. Why can't I draw Olivia, Campbell Ross? I think I'm just gonna Gladian here. I like to Gladian try and find a Wishy Washy. Especially if we avoid Diabolical Claws doing that much damage with Golden. Another handy work. Okay, well, let's do another Crushing Hammer. Hey, alright, looks like we're kind of just chilling for now. I'm still gonna do Gladian though. Yeah, we don't have anything. Oh, Hoopa. Perfect. And we can pass. We can kinda just keep stalling for now. I don't want Zoroark to be in the active though. Can't really do anything about that. Unless we can draw Zoroark and get another Zoroark down in East Roll at some point. I think it was a safer play to do the Gladian. Like, Especially if he plays DCE and something crazy happened, like a knockout. He's doing a Kiawe. Yeah, that's something we gotta watch out for. But again, you know, you don't have any non EX GX Pokemon, you lose. I just, I do have to be cautious of Dive Ball Claws, though. Because that, again, can one shot me. Even like Ho Oh GX if he plays Volk Schema. Okay, so he's committing three energies to the active. And is it gonna let me put the fighting fury belt on? Find out next episode. Um, and let's do let's just do handiwork. Why not? And double tails. Are you serious? Uh oh. That's not good. But I don't know if he can win at any time, like unless he's playing Garbodor. Who knows? I think I'm gonna end him here. Ooh, counter catcher. Hmm. 
Why not? Hey, double heads! Hmm, not the worst stars. I mean, stuff like Ace Rolla is stuff I want him to keep. Because it's kind of a useless card in, in his scenario, but that's fine. We can bring this up. We can probably flare gun him. He might be playing a couple floats. We'll see. I mean, he has maybe like Switch too. A Rangaroo. Oh, there we go. Now he's going to be able to attack me. So now we are definitely going to have to find another Pokemon. This is why I do have the Olivia split with Fan Club. If I can draw one of those two cards, that'd be great. Double Wishful Baton. Hashtag memes. There's a Resty Stretch here. At least he's only getting one Pokemon back. I guess we're going to see a second more. Yep. Wally and Center League. Okay. This is very weird. I don't think he plays DC, but he's not going to play Monster Pokemon. Choice Band. Alright, now this thing's stuck in here. Okay, cool. It's going to end him. Screw it. We need to get more Pokies down. There we go. We do find a Field Blower, which I'm not going to play because I'm fine with it. Maybe he plays Funny Fairy Belt, and that would help him, but not me. So, that's cool. We'll Crushing Hammer him. Get rid of that Fire Energy off that Orangaroo. And we will pass. I don't know. He might play Turnator, but we'll see. And then next turn, we can Skull Run. If he attaches the active, we'll Flare Run. We're chilling. I can even Nest Ball for Zorua. ho -oh, Okay, this is a little scary. There's a Guzma. Yikes. I don't really have an answer for that. Ace Roller. Well, that works. And we're gonna have to get rid of these two cards. Now he's not... He still is. We need to find a Fine Fury Belt. Let's put down... Zorua. Let's do Flare Gun. There's no point doing Skull Gun. And now we gotta pray we draw, like, Olivia or something. Or find a way to get this wishy-washy out of the active spot. I don't... Like, what other surprises does this guy have? The two shot is a little bad, unless we can top the defender though. That's not good. Hmm. This is not good. We're gonna lose our wishy washy. Yeah, that's why I like Zoar, but we can't get him into play, unfortunately. Doubt he has any energy, yeah. Figure. He has a Guzma too. He's holding on to an end. I mean, I guess we don't have a choice. Sure. Now we get the finding theory though, but well, that's a rip. Our wishy-washy goes down. We weren't able to really save it. It's not good. I gotta watch out for Diabolical Claws, man. That's the scariest part. The more prize he takes, the more power Diabolical Claws gets. I don't even know... I mean, if he gets an energy, yeah, you could see the death of Zorua, and then he's doing 200 damage, which is not good. Might just retreat. I don't know. Kiawe. Not doing too hot right now, dude. That that Guzma he did on my wishy washy really messed me up here. And our zero is gonna get knocked out. Yeah, like if we had a Zorark online, maybe we would have had a better chance of putting up a good fight. But that's, see, this is why I like having Zorark in here. I guess it's a good showcase of why Zorark is important to have. This is a decent match. Oh, he's just gonna do switch. Never mind. Now, I could get rid of the bell. I could. My eyes. Knocks me out. Yeah. Zoro was gone next turn, that's for sure. And I don't want to put Cell Steel down. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna hope he doesn't have Field Blower. 
and then we can heal ourselves and just keep stalling. I mean, he has a knock it on us. But if we get Zoa down, I guess we're okay. Yeah, this is why I need draw support, guys. Feel lower, that's a dead card. We have a couple more turns to stall. But I don't know how long, much longer I can keep this up. He's got 12 cards left, but again, he's doing so much damage. I'm glad I didn't see a baby Salazzle there. That would not have been good. Because I mean, at that point, it's like, well, who is a Nar? Yeah, he's gonna knock on my Zorua. He is stuck in the active though, so that's not bad. I can probably just keep Hoopa in the game forever. Might play another choice. We just kind of hope we draw at this point. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. Don't know what I need. I guess a flare gun's not bad. I don't want to grab N. How many ends does he even have? He hasn't played one. I don't even know what the heck's going on. He's gonna pass. We'll flare gun this Salazzle and see what happens. He's probably gonna retreat though. We can flare gun the Orangaroo and maybe try and keep stalling it. Oh, he's still attaching. I mean, I guess. If I can maybe find my Guzma. Maybe we can, like, trap something. It's gonna end me. This is nice. This is not bad. Maybe. Depending on what I get. Yikes. Didn't get any way to heal my... Of course you had it for switch. Ah, man, dude. Don't know how much that matters. I might as well do that. <sighs> Could do fan club, but... I don't know. I think I just gotta keep ending him. I gotta find like a max potion. Ace Roller works, but I ain't going into South Steel because then we lose the game. If I can get a Wishy Wash, I'd go into that, but we can't. I mean, we might just lose next turn if he has a Field Blower. He's only played one. Oh, wow. Well. That, I think, seals the deal because he is so. Uh, <laughs> Sycamore, though, okay. But, I mean, find Field Blower, we lose. He probably has two. It's time to just go out and honor, guys, honestly. Zerk a tree, another dead card. Can't do anything, man. If I had a wishy wash, I can go into that. We only have, like, what, one max potion, that's why. Hmm, how many. Okay, we got our puzzles. Hopefully, we can draw them. I don't know how much longer I keep this up for. This is not going to last. And you see why this stall deck can have trouble? Even against a normal deck like this, you're still going to struggle. This deck ain't perfect, obviously. Don't even know what other tricks. He's like, cards like ball. Like, what other tricks does he got up his sleeve? There's a wishy washy. I mean, if he has choice, ban rip. Play three. No way he's got four. And before he does, you can do Olivia for now. Just keep trying to buy some time, thin out the deck a little bit. You can put two wishy washes down, which you may as well do. We can just keep passing, and the next turn we can ace Rolla our Hoopa. I mean, if he does field blower, the game. Okay, good. Nice. Alright, let's see what we draw. Lucid Mean wouldn't be bad. Ooh, handiwork, but we can't play that right now. Do we put the belt on? He might. Oh, he's played two Professor Kikuis. I doubt he plays three. He's played three choice bands. Yeah, sure. We'll do it anyways. He might play an N. I think. How many ends has he even played? I think he just has one. Yeah, N's how he can save himself. I mean, we don't have Hue in this format, so it's kind of rough.
I don't know, unless like he drew out of his deck and then we hit like quad heads or something on Mandy Work, I don't know. Kinda have to hope the top deck's something good. And that is indeed the game. Yeah, this is, I mean, <laughs> thanks, handiwork. Well, that game went nowhere. Um, no, I'm kidding. That was a decent match, I guess. We, you know, we kind of came close. How many games did he play? Two. Yeah, I don't even know what that deck was. Um, but yeah, we came, you know, kind of close. He was kind of low on cards, um, but fortunately we just couldn't win. Uh, but this is again why I like having the Zoro one. We do need it. I, th that draw support engine, it is too important. Alright, guys, let's get one last match for the deck. Yes, I lost. I played against Gardevoir. Game didn't go too well because that GX attack is. At that point, it's not a loss. So we're gonna find another match. I wanna play against something where we can mill their energy pretty nicely. But I wanna at least try at least one match against a deck like that. Maybe we are up against it. He's playing Decidueye. So who knows? Anything is possible. Okay, we do open with Wishy Washy. Our hand is actually not bad. I can probably just do Skyla for Nest Ball and then Olivia. I don't know. Skyla for Fan Club might be better. Let's play Golisopod. Okay, I'm actually going to still do Skyla. I guess we'll grab Nest Ball. Sure. Let's just check if our friendly neighborhood Zoroarks are in the deck. Okay, they are. Just check. Okay. We mainly got everything online. Three flare grunts. Okay, one's in our hand. Our hand's just pretty good. We can probably sit on it for now. Uh, one max potions prize. Two puzzles are prize. Yikes. Oh, no. No, our max potions. But we do have two puzzles prize. So, Gladian. And, uh. Okay, that's not bad. All our hammers are here, which is good. We're gonna need those. Let's get a nest ball for Zora. I'm not gonna behoop it down. I don't wanna reveal what I'm playing quite yet, obviously. And we'll just chill for now. He might he definitely plays flying flip because I saw lightning in his deck, and I am kinda scared of that because it does do a lot of damage to wishy wash. But I don't think he knocked me out unless he finds double funny fairy belt with a flying flip and then a follow-up funny fairy belt first impression. But we can't get him at bay with enhanced hammer. Lily. Okay, interesting. Surprised he didn't do Bridget. Hopefully this Lily doesn't give him a good hand. Ooh, yes! Put two energies in the discard pile! Bye! Probably gonna grab Coco here. Yep, there it is. There is the devil itself for my matchup. We can just enhance Tamarit. Right? I'm just joking, guys. People still play Capo Coco in the mind format? Calvin, I'm just joking. I don't even know. I'm trying to be salty, but I'm trying to be funny at the same time to cover the salt up. No flow, no flow. I mean, no flow. What am I saying? No choice, man. Okay, good. Just 40 damage. It tickles me. Boop. And we're doing handiwork. Hey, quad heads. What did we get rid of? Not bad. I was hoping for an energy there. And we can just keep passing. Obviously, I don't want to put Hoopa down when that flying flips online. We'll see if he gets another flying flip here. There's Golisopod. Uh, we do have enough. Yeah, unless he plays Persian Kikui for some reason, we should be able to live this hit and then we just max potion. And that could be game changing. But if he goes in Golly, that's good. We can just find a way to get that energy off. We got a nice roll of, that's fine. It's playing Garb with Solar So oh, there's a choice band. So yeah, we gotta unless we top deck something good, we're gonna have to ace roll it here. But we can maybe keep his energy at bay. Garb is a little scary though. Please hit heads. Oh no, hammer, why are you doing this to me? Why you suck? And I'm gonna put Wish Push back down. I'm gonna pass. Still no Zoark, which kind of sucks. I mean, we only play two. There's no way to search it out. I was considering Heavy Ball in here, but obviously we can't search out Zoark with that. 
Nice thing too, Ghost Boy can't crossing cut. Warp energy, are you? That's kind of clever, actually. That is kind of clever. Warp energy. I just got an idea for a video. Yes, more energy gets discarded. Nice. I don't think he plays puzzle either. That warp energy, I'll give him that. It's you know a pretty clever card, but uh, how is he gonna attack my Hoopa? He might play Mind Jack Zork, so I'm actually gonna be cautious. Part of me wants the Plumera. I think I'm going to. Alright, yeah, Skyla, we have Lucimine, we're fine. Can't get rid of that grass energy. Um, then we're gonna pass. How many grass at? Three. He's probably got four or five in the deck. He might play. No, he's definitely playing Rainbow. I can't tell if he's playing Garbo Toxin and Trade or Stand in. But both of those have abilities, so I don't really. If he's playing Rainbow Energy, that's good for me because I got hammers, so. I do need to find a Zoark. I'm going to probably go Lusamine here, unless he has another Grass Energy to follow up. Yeah. So we're going to have to flare on him. I kind of do want to try out that Warp Energy Golisopod deck. Mm, not going to play any more Hoopas down, obviously, in case he has Mind Jack. I'm going to grab Handiwork and Ace Roller. Yeah, we're just chilling for now. I don't know what else he can do. Yeah, we'll see. The good thing is, we are keeping his energy at bay. Okay, grass energy confirms he's probably playing mine. Alright, handiwork it is. Oh, another DCE. Field Blower is a big card too, so he's got like no DCEs. I don't know if he's playing Special Charge, but if he's not, we're punishing that pretty big. I, did, I just need to get a Zork. We can get a Zork on Warren, guys. We are going to be in a really good spot because we can get good draw support. But I guess we could. No, never mind. I don't know. We'll bring out Wishy Washy. We'll just max potion. He probably doesn't see it. This way we don't have to do Ace Roller. We just play around. This is looking good, though, guys. This is looking pretty good. This is the matchup I wanted where the energy is very. Alright guys, apologies for that. I had to quickly turn off the mic there. And we are going to see a crossing cut, but we can also do this and field blower off those two. We could ace Rolla or max potion. Yeah, I'm just going to do max potion. But yeah, apologies for that little cutoff, guys. I had to mute the mic for a minute. I need to actually, how many ends does he play? Just one. Mm, that could be annoying. But again, if we run him out of energy, we win the game. Can't really stop him from doing first impression. He's on the person. Finds a choice band to get KO'd, I guess. Ooh, let's. I kind of do like Flare Gun. Hmm. It's either Guzma or Flare Gun. I might just play another Warp Energy. I think I gotta do... No, I might play... Oh, man. I might just have the Ace Roll and I think I got it. Do we put Wishy Washy down? Hmm. Maybe... Nah. We, we'll, we'll hold it, because we have Guzma. Probably the best play I could have done. I mean, if he plays Warp Energy, we would have lost our Wishy Washy, so. There, okay, Max Potion. Looks like another card. And there he is. We does play Mind Jack. Okay, good to know. He. Gotta pay all. Well, no, he can stand in. Never mind. Ooh, he's ending with six. That's good. Okay, we finally got Zoark. We do have an Ace Roller, too. Parallel City is also pretty good. We can make him do less damage with Golisopod. And yeah, we got a pretty good end here. It's just 40 damage. Just a measly little 40 damage. Nah, we can't really afford that. I'll just put Zoark down. We can't get knocked out anymore. 
He's gonna flare gun that DC off. Now he's completely out of double coast energy. We'll get rid of the Zor. Zorua, sorry, with our thing. We'll do Parallel City. So now his Ghost Spot is doing most damage. We'll trade off our Zorua. So we finally got the Zor gonna jump. This is a perfect match, guys. And we're just kind of chilling for now. We uh, are in a pretty good spot. Another N. Cool. I'm glad he's not doing that when his hand's like massive and he's low on cards. So that's really good. He's gonna get a lower hand size. I don't. We'll see what else he's got up his sleeve. Super Rod. Okay, that's annoying. Gets back some energy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's only doing 40. But yeah, we got a heal here. And that is perfect. Flare Gun will trade off Fan Club. I don't think we'll need that anymore. Though Zerka Tree is probably good in this situation too. Puzzle of Time is not bad. I think I'm just gonna Bell the active and pass. We're in a pretty good spot. I am pretty glad about this situation and this game because we finally got the Zork on. There's a Poe Town. I'm glad that didn't happen to you. Field blower, cool. It's only one fighting three though. That might be his last one. He's already played another one. Sycamore, yes, dump your hand. We just need to find our Lucimines, guys, and uh, we'll be golden. I don't, we have another. No, we got another handiwork in the deck. Golly number two. That is Ace Roller, I guess. Which I mean, doesn't matter. He's got six cards, guys. We can win. He hasn't taken a single prize yet either, which is really good. We'll get rid of Olivia. That's pretty much a dead card in this matchup. There's Zerka Tree, but I don't need you anymore. I could end him here, actually. Might do that. Or just chill. Let's just chill. And then next turn, we'll Ace Rolla going to Wishy Washy. Force him to either retreat into my jack. We might see a Guzma though at some point, because he's played two and I think he's got more than one thing. But he hasn't taken a prize, so maybe some a prize. There's a Guzma. So we are just going to ace roll our Zoark back at Hoopa. Or even Wishy Washy too, I don't know. Max Potion, yeah, that's cool. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot to do trade. Get rid of an N. I don't mind. We got, we got Puzzle. Ooh, we could flare that. Man. Nah, he can still knock me out next turn. Yeah, we can't. Well, we could max potion too. Sure, we'll max potion. Then flare gun and pass. I don't know what does he have left. Let's find out. He's out of DCEs. Pretty. He's got, I think, one Grass Energy in his deck from that Super Rod, and he might have another one. I don't know if he plays so much Grass, though. I think this Spot usually plays up to six Grass Energies. Given from all the energy he has, he's probably only got six. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's doing 40 a turn. He's not getting anywhere. Switch. All right. <laughs> We're still actually surviving, potentially. Obviously, we have to be slower, though. Uh, let's trade off. We'll get rid of Zergatry. I mean, he can't attack me with this, but who cares? Zergatry's dead. And I guess I'll pass. We'll see if he knocks me out. He might have four Guzmas, but best case scenario, his last Guzma he may have is in his prize cards. So he is going to attack me. He's only doing 40 though. I can even flare gun him if I wanted to. Obviously I don't want to get knocked out. And our prize in our top deck is a Fighting Fury Belt. That is a really good draw. 
Let's just do flagrant. Fortune to find that last grass. We'll get rid of. Might keep that actually. I don't know what to get rid of. Everything's important. I think we'll get rid of a wishy washy. Sure. Again, if we find our double puzzle, we can get him back. Lusamine for next turn is beautiful. And I'm going to pass. Put, I was thinking of putting down Hoopa, but then I'm going to get even more in turn two. I mean, we might not even get attack next turn. I know he has one grass. He's got four in play. He's got eight. I don't think. Don't tell me you play nine grass in energy. He's got two cards, though. Um, we do have our other handiwork, I think. So if we can maybe get that off this trade and top deck, we might win the game. Unless he doesn't end, but again, he hasn't taken a prize yet. See, this is this is the type of game that I like with this deck. This is where the potential comes in. Obviously, the Slazzle matchup was weird. So, this deck has some fun games, some bad games. It's just a pass. Nice. It's going to do Lusamine here. Get back Lusamine and... We are going to trade... Get rid of Gladian. Gladian, I don't think we're going to need anymore. Ace Rolla and Celestila. So we have a lot of options for next turn. If he doesn't... If we find energy in a field blower, which I don't think he has any of those two left, I think we win. Unless he... He'd have to end to buy time. And he concedes... The Stall deck wins another game. That was pretty lit. And then I'm going to wrap up today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more PTCGO content. Help me on the road to 3,000 subs. I know we can hit it soon. The Walking Dead episode tonight is going to be insane. I can't wait. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on another PTCGO video. Thanks for watching. And uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Goodbye.